Hello, today we're look, working on the PowerPoint capstone, the City of Co Santa Rita Planning Department. I've already downloaded the necessary files out of Blackboard and I'm ready to start working. So the first thing I needed to do was to save my um, historic preservation plan PowerPoint here. And now I am going to reuse some slides. So with slide one, still my active slide, I'm going to come up here on the home tab to new slide. But instead of, um, I'm going to click on the little arrow there, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to reuse some slides. So I'm going to go to reuse slides. And this is a PowerPoint that we downloaded from Blackboard, another one. So I'm going to go to browse and find where I saved that and I saved it on my desktop and it's the got all PowerPoint presentations here oh I need to go to my desktop here go to desktop and here's my PowerPoint 3 a slides right here so I'm going to open and so I've got the three slides from the presentation, and now I could just reuse them. And I want to uh, put them at the end of my presentation. So I'm going to come over here and click on slide four, and then I'm going to click on slide three over here, four, and five, because it wants us to insert them in the same order at the end of the presentation. So now I have these slides. Um, make sure you have your keep source formatting turned off and it's going to go ahead and make them look like the rest of your slides. And now I can close that navigation pane on the right, and I'm ready for step two. I want to change the design of my presentation um, to use um, a different theme. I want to change the theme to office. So I'm up here on design. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose office, the office theme, which is just a plain white background. And I want to change my theme colors. I've got the different colors over here. And I want to change it to red. Let's come out here to colors. Come over here and come down to red. Colors. Go all the way down to red. Now I'm going to insert a footer. Um, I'm going to come up here to insert. Clear over here on the right is header and footer. I want on the slide, I want the slide number and so I've got to select the slide number and now in text for my footer I want to be Santa Rica planning department make sure you spell it correctly and I'm going to say apply to all except I didn't want it to be on the title slide so I'm going to come back compare to header and footer and I need to make sure I say don't show on title slide and then apply to all so I don't want it to be on the title slide. So you can see down here I have Santa Rita Planning Department and the slide number. If I come up here to slide one, you don't see it. I want to make sure it's not there. Now on slide one, we want to add some subtitles. So I'm going to click down here to add subtitle. And we want to enter Santa Rita, comma, CA as a subtitle. On slide two, we're going to insert a picture. So um, on the right, we're going to click over here on a picture. And I've already downloaded it from Blackboard. So I'm going to come up here. I put it in my pictures program. And it's under support. And it's the map. So right here is my map. And insert. I want to crop out this dark rectangle at the bottom. So I'm going to come here on the Format Tools. I've got Crop, and I'm going to say Crop. And I'm just going to bring this bottom one up 
to where it doesn't show that red. And then click on crop again. Now over here on the right, these are just some design ideas I could utilize if I wanted to. So you, just to help you as you create your presentations. We don't want to do anything with this, so I'm going to click and close that right rectangle there. Now, still, still here on slide two, uh, we're going to make some changes to our bulleted list. We're going to delete the forest road bullet. So I'm just going to come over here, highlight it, and then hit delete. We want to increase the list items match in Cove. So I'm going to come up here to match in Cove, and I'm just going to hit the tab key. Or you can come up here and hit the increase indent. And we're going to also do that on Overlook Ridge. Again, I just hit my tab key. And also Pioneer Square. We want to change the color of our entire list. So I'm going to highlight all of the text on our list. Going to come up here to our colors, and we want the color for this to be dark red, accent one, darker 25%. So here's our dark red, accent one, darker 25%. And we want to bold our first level list items. So identify landmarks, we want this to be bold. Identify history, historic districts. We want that to be bold. And answer the questions. We want that to be bold because that's all of our first level or level one sentences. Okay, on still here on slide two, we want to animate some of our text. So uh, we want to animate the placeholder on the left with the fly in. So here's our placeholder on the left. So I'm just going to click on it uh, to select it. And up here under animations, I'm going to select fly in, interest animation, and we want this effect animation to be all at once. So we're going to come down here so it all comes up at the same time. We want to increase our duration to one second. So it takes a little bit longer, so it gives our audience time to read the text. So if you want to see what it looks like, you can come, come over here to preview, and that's what your slide would look like now. Just gives it a little more, um, a little more engaging for your audience to see. Slide three, we're going to insert some smart art and to make the four review steps more vi vivid. So we're going to convert this to the basic timeline. So we're going to highlight all this text come up here to the convert and we are going to find the basic timeline right here for our steps and we're going to change our smart art style to moderate effect so let's see which one is this subtle effect moderate effect just kind of make our plan review steps look a little different than just a bulleted list and we're going to add a note on this slide. So we're going to come down here to where it says click to add notes. And we're going to say request. Where to go? Feedback from city residents. And we're finished with step three. And that is all for this first video for the capstone project. So check into the second video for the additional steps for this assignment.